Good morning. Morning. It is uh, Wednesday. Yeah, and it is, uh, what time is it? It's 7.50 a.m. Oh, these early mornings are killing me. Killing Daryl too. I have to wake him up every morning at the moment. Um, yeah, it's nail day today. So new nails. Yay! Yay! Very, very, very excited about this. Very, very excited. Um, I want you to get... Like sparkly red ones. No, I'm not getting sparkly red ones. I'm getting those nice dark blue sparkly ones that I had last oh, time. Yeah. So, yeah, really excited. Oh, and yeah. also, it means I get a chance to drive my car again today, which is cool. Tomorrow, the driveway is getting all cleared up so that I can actually Yay. park out the back, which will be novel. <laughs> I haven't parked out the back for... for about five six years um because we had the garden done crikey it must be about three four years ago and before that there was just a load of rubbish out there so it's been a while since i was able to park out there um yeah. put the pillow down please i thought you wanted a hug in the bed yep. this is hugging the bed before we go and do our teeth um yeah so it's been a while since i've been able to park out there and we've been parking on the road but um I had a chat with a friend of mine who lives down the road. She's also got back lane access, but she has no parking because she's a childminder. And they decided that garden space was more important to them than um, having yeah. somewhere to put the car because there is a road out there and you can usually find somewhere to park. But I said to her yesterday, because I've got enough space out there for two cars, that if she's ever, like, chronically, chronically stuck, she can chuck her car out there as well. So she was like, oh, wow, thanks. But I've known her for, like, 30-odd years, do you know what I mean, since My our children hurts. were small. Your neck hurts. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> can I have kisses? Mm. not allowed kisses anymore i don't know why there's normally there's some kind of crappy excuse like oh you've got makeup on you've just had a smoothie or something but yeah i'm not i'm not allowed kisses anymore i don't think he loves me anymore i do when i hug you it means i do but where's all my kisses you used to give me a bazillions of kisses like all the time small boys eh i was really hoping that day would never come but it has he doesn't even like it when I kiss him, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. my baby. <laughs> right, so we're going to do our teeth, yeah. get dressed for school, get ready, get sorted and um, get going. I'm in school, you know. Yeah, we know. Yay. Yeah. What did you do yesterday? P.E. P.E. And it was good, wasn't it? You really didn't want... He was like, I don't want to do P.E. And I said, why not? Is that because, you know, I don't... And I think it was because he didn't know what to expect. But you really enjoyed it, didn't you? You did lots of running and stuff. I'm just going in that line. Yeah, <laughs> you're on the line. Oh, what, the grid on my phone? Oh. Right. So, yeah, we're going to go and get ready and get sorted and put your tongue away. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll see you a bit later. 25 and we're on our way. Yeah. Yay. Us. Bye. <laughs> I'm um, going made up door. again so yeah i'm feeling pretty pretty looking on the wall at I the moment so no i can't film the school because they're going to be other children but yeah so Yay. luckily we live like it's literally two minutes up the hill which is great um so yeah but i'm really pleased that for the last three mornings i've managed to get up and be on time and actually go up, do the school run with makeup on I look like one of those mums that's got it all together. Shocking. I feel great. Look! Ah! Nails again, you guys! I've missed my nails so fucking much. So fucking much. I cannot even, like... I can't put into it. My nails, to me, are a lot like my dreads. They are just part of me. And I can't grow them this long without assistance, which is why I get acrylics. But, I mean, look at that. That is just... Stunning. and that's the color that i this has sort of become my color this is a color that i have a lot i like this color so but yeah look at that i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm also starving um so i think i'm gonna pop in the shop on my home and grab something to eat 
so yeah um yeah that's what i've not really done much else other than that so yeah i'm hungry i'm gonna go and buy food yay i ordered some biotin complex um recently because apparently they are good for promoting hair and nail growth and yeah okay i know i have acrylics done but i still want my nails to be healthy underneath and one thing my tech always says about me is that my nails are good and they're healthy because i look after my nails um every night when i go to bed i wash my hands with an antibacterial um you know what everybody's using at the moment i i wash my hands with that I dry them very, very carefully, make sure they are completely dry. Then I pour a, quite a generous amount of baby oil into my hands and I rub them all over. Make sure when you do it that you massage the cuticle and up either side, you know, where you get like hangnails and all that lot. Um, and make sure you do And then I add hand cream and rub that. And then I lie in bed like that, not touching anything for about 10, 15 minutes until it soaks in. And this really does help promote moisture in your nails you need moisture you can't have your nails too dry your hair, your hair and your nails are the same they need moisture to be healthy obviously not too much moisture because then you know that's i'm waving my hands a lot because like, oh, i'm so excited so i also thought i was watching a video on people that dye their hair quite recently aka aislin is one of my favorites and um, she's like in my to watch list all the way down and there was another girl as well whose name i cannot for the life of me now remember Alyssa Nicole that's it and Alyssa has recently shaved her head because she got fed up with all the different colours and that and she recommends biotin so this is my first dose it's um this is a biotin complex by Max Medics and it's uh 10,000 mic micrograms of biotin per tablet comprehensive formula with zinc coconut and selenium and you get a year's supply in this tub for less than 20 pounds now i figure even if they're crap and nothing happens and it doesn't do fuck all for my hair or my nails 20 pounds spread over a year is, is nothing if that's there there we go wash down with coke because you know i shouldn't be drinking fucking coke but who cares i'm having a naughty naughty lunch so it's been a mail day yay mail um well, another thing that i bought that came with my biotin is one of these um, I had one of these in my McGann many, many years ago um, when Daryl was a baby. And it's great because it means you can maintain eye contact with your child. Um, if your child is front facing, you only need this. If your child is rear facing, then you need another one to go on the back of the seat in front of them. And then what you do is you line up the mirror on the back of the seat and this mirror. And again, it means you can maintain eye contact, which is brilliant. I've also got two other parcels. One of them is shoes or plimsolls for Daryl. P was yesterday, that feels like plimsolls. And the other one I think is his t-shirts, but I'm gonna open them when he comes home because they're, you know, technically for him. This I'm gonna possibly go and clip in in my car in a little while. Oh, this has got a, it's got a pivoting arm and it, um excuse me it clips onto your the word will cut sun visor that's it it clips onto the sun visor so you know when you're driving along it's there you can also i mean you can clip it anyway you can clip it onto your rear view mirror if you want to um which is probably what i will do because I'm photosensitive, so I flip the sun visor quite a lot, dependent on, you know, what the weather's doing. So, yeah, I'll probably clip mine onto the mirror that's already there for me. Um, and then just angle it slightly so that I can see Daryl as well. So, yeah. I've made a mum friend. That's nice. Um, her children are a little bit younger than Daryl. Um, They're a little yeah. bit smaller than me. A little bit smaller than you, aren't they? Um, I think once she said one was four, due to start school this year. And the other one's in preschool, he's two, three years old. Oh. So that's nice. Yeah. Nice to have a mum to chat to. It's morphing yeah. time. It's a morphing time, Power Ranger. Um, right, Power so Ranger. we're going home. Darren approves of the nails. Yep. A couple of people actually said, oh, like the nails. Um, but yeah, we're going to go home. We're going to have tea and whatever. And then, what else are we doing? I don't know, we're going to do much else this afternoon or this evening so i might just do a sign off a bit later on that'll be it tomorrow the garden clearance begins Yay! so 
that we could park the car out the back. Yay! Yay! Looking forward to that a lot. So yeah, see you a bit later. Okay. My watch has been dispatched. So it's coming via Royal Mail, which means it's probably come via the regular post lady or it will turn up at seven o'clock in the morning by special post. Now, disclaimer, this is not my first ever Apple Watch. I have somewhere an original Apple Watch. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's in this drawer. It's not in this one. <laughs> I was fucking right, look. I have this Apple Watch. This is a first generation Apple Watch. As far as I'm aware, it still works as well. As you can see, I was uh, into rose gold at the time. I even had a Milanese strap for it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it is one of the very first generations. Now, back when I bought that and I discovered how crap the battery life was, I bought a clever charging doohickey for it. And I suddenly thought about this last night. wonder where the charging doohickey is. And I wonder, does the original Apple Watch charging disc work on a Series 6? And from what I can find out on Mac Rumours posted in October last year, yes, it does. So I found my doohickey. Now, I bought this. So it's charging. I bought this for 20 quid. It's by Smart... Snatry, S-M-A-T-R-E-E. -E. I got it on eBay and it is basically a power pack for an Apple Watch. And what you do is you put the cable inside. See, the cable is all tucked around in there and is plugged into the back of this USB port. This is just plugged into the mains. It's, there's a battery in here. So basically you can carry this around with you. And if while you're out and about, you think, shit, my battery's getting a little bit low and I don't have anywhere to charge it <laughs> it's great for if you're going on holiday this will also charge your iPhone all you've got to do is um stick a USB plug in it so I'm charging it to see whether it will still work I'll be fucking amazed if it does I mean could you imagine wouldn't that be incredible I haven't used that series one apple watch actually i dumped the apple watch to originally buy a fitbit because the original apple watches were crap for steps apparently they're way way better now than what they used to be so yeah i'm also thinking of buying an ankle strap for my fitbit i found one on etsy um it's um let's see if i can find it um, very nice lady. She makes them here in the uh, UK. Um, was it that one? I did find a Daisy wrist uh, wristband for the Apple Watch, but I want one of the fabric uh, loop ones. So this is it. Um, yeah, it's made here by a lady in the UK. Fits around your ankle like that. That looks really bulky. Um, I mean, the picture she's got above it, it doesn't look quite so bulky. And um, yeah, these are the different materials that she makes. She's got that one, she's got that one, that one, and that one, which I quite like. And then what you do is you have to use your original straps, which I do have, thankfully, because they sort of give it a bit of um, um, stability. And then your tracker makes contact with your skin there. So I was like, oh, and then you can just slip it out if you do want to switch it to your wrist. So I emailed her. I messaged her and I said, look, you know, um, does it have to have the original strap? Let me pull up what she said. I thought she was very, very nice. So I said, I'm interested in purchasing the Fitbit for ankle wearing. Do I have to use the strap with it? I was thinking of... Uh, making ankle wearing a more permanent thing as I'll be pushing a push chair a lot more when my grandson is born but I have a metal strap on that's not rigid it would be easier just to do her own strap altogether and she went back she said yes you'll want the original Fitbit straps on the device as they're what's held it that, that's what holds it inside the ankle band sleeve and she actually shows you a picture of hers um 
she said as far as permanence she said hers never comes out of the ankle band she wears it around her ankle 100 percent of the time and have done for the last three and a half years the original straps add extra security around your ankle but if you decide to switch it back to your wrist there's no need to reassemble the um original straps so yeah and I said, does it pick up the minutes? And she said, yes, because the sensors are exposed and still have direct contact with your skin and all of your vitals and minutes are recorded. And I said, I will order one when I get paid because, you know, at the moment I'm fucking broke. Because Amazon have already taken payment number one for the Apple Watch. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Would you, would you like to see the daisy wristband that I'd, I've I've liked it, but I I wouldn't wear it. I mean, it's vegan leather, so, you know, I could do. But at the moment, I'm waiting for a fabric band. But you guys, I mean, get a load of this. Daisies! Daisies! Daisies, you guys! Daisies! And if, I mean, if I got that, it would so perfectly match my pop socket. I mean, look, look at it, look at it, you guys, look at it, but it's 27 fucking quid and I ain't paying that. Do you know what really sucks? Is how you can go from being bouncy and here to in the space of about 10 minutes are you hungry apparently no no is it time to go out apparently it's time for my dog to go out you know how you can go from up here to down here oh, yeah okay i'm coming in this time it takes you to read a fucking facebook post you know i hate that i fucking hate that fuck depression it pisses me off it pisses me off that it can come out of nowhere and ruin what has been a really, really good day. Because I read a post about loss, you know, of somebody that I don't even know in a group, posted by somebody that I don't know. I don't don't know the lady, apparently this, uh, her, her nephew's wife took her own life. I don't know these people, they're not even in England. But it reminds you that you, you what you've lost and it just you... <sighs> loss is a shit depression is a shit and i fucking hate it all i'm hungry which probably doesn't help but there we go come on then yeah she has pooped she is happy she is gone. I've had an epiphany. So you remember I showed you, whenever it was, earlier today, about the ankle strap. Yeah, this woman's charging like 16 something pounds for these. I have this. This was sent to me by my friend Claire. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a sport headband, basically. And... Um, it doesn't stretch that way, but it does stretch that way. So what I'm thinking is, is that it's it's made, if, if you're interested, I believe that is pronounced Huga, Huga headbands. <coughs> um, so what I'm thinking is, is that I'm going to cut this down because I don't wear it. Not anymore, not now that I've got like really, really long dreads because it just doesn't hold anything up out the way. So what I'm thinking is, is that I will cut a strip wider than this. Okay, would say an extra centimetre either side. And then I will cut, I'll cut two strips, yeah. And then the second strip, I will cut... A gap that wide in the middle and then I'll sew the two strips together and then fit it to my ankle does that sound 
That sounds right, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. That is essentially what that is that she's selling. I mean, I could even do it that I tie it, but then I would be paranoid it would keep coming undone. So if I make it that it's tight enough due to this elastic, I mean, to be honest, Christ, I could probably go with that. And then once it stretches, you know, that would even possibly be too wide. Oh God, I could knit one, couldn't I? That would also be cool because I know I know what my leg is around. That's some, that's something else I could think of to do. It only take me like it take very long at all actually to make one. Do you know what? That's actually even more plausible than doing this. Although I think in the summer my leg would breathe better in this than it would in a woolen cuff around my ankle. But I'm really tempted now because I'm sitting here thinking, well, I've got all that yarn up there. And I could make different cuffs for different occasions. Because all I would have to do is knit a cuff to the correct distance, then cast off stitches wide enough. That would be so easy. They're both really, really good ideas. The sewing one, I will, this one I will probably do tomorrow while I'm waiting for the watch to arrive. Um, but the knitting one, I think, you know what? That's going on the list, you guys. It is going on the list of things to do. You remember the things I want to list? That list, look, Apple Watch apps hey um those of you that wear up what jolyn i think you said you wore one um any apps that you like must haves for my watch um to knit um ankle strap Fitbit, and hey, those could become a thing. I could create a pattern, and like for other, do you know what? There's probably one of fucking Ravelry now. I've said that, and I'm just like, you know, but I I would make it out of rib because I find rib holds around my ankle really really well, and all of that lot. <laughs> I bet you there is one on Ravelry. You know me saying that. And if there's not, then hey, you know, it's a yay me for thinking of it. But I could make it in the same way she has. So if I did it um, if I did it twice the width of the watch, so that but twice, and then um, oh, there's nothing under fit. Fitbit ankle strap. So let's take out ankle strap and just write Fitbit. Yeah, there are wrist ones. And one for a Fitbit flex, but not for mine. Yeah, okay, so what I'm thinking is, right, I will knit it, obviously 72 stitches, because that's what my ankle is. And then I would do it twice the width of that when I get to the correct width I will cast off enough stitches for that gap and then I will continue to work the length of the cuff and then when it's when it's at, at the right place as it were I will fold it over and sew it into place and then the that and then, yeah, and that will work, won't it? And I would work in the round, so the only seam, and if I do like a three needle bind off or something, I could, oh, I could even kitchener it together. Cal, my brain's buzzing, can't you? I now want to down all projects and have a go at this. But I've got to do some work on Pikachu tomorrow as well, because like, I've put this down. Well, I haven't promised Daryl, but I haven't worked on Pikachu for like a week, so, you know. Mm. 
it would be really easy to do. Really easy. Hmm. Brain is a buzzing. I'm very tired. Um, like I had a weird night, a really, really weird night. I went to bed really, really early. I can't remember if I've said this or not. I'm sorry if I repeat myself. I literally do forget things that I've just said. That is what my brain is like. But I crashed out about 9.45 last night and I had nightmares. I had dreams about Stuart that made me wake up crying. I knocked my phone over. My phone sits on a stand like this upstairs. But without yarn wrapped around it. Um, yeah, and... Um, I, I sleep with my arm up under my pillow like that, and I must have had it up slightly and um, yeah it must have been up like that and then as I fell asleep it crashed like that and sent my phone flying which of course made me wake up with a jump so that was a bit of a shock as well so yeah it was just a disturbed night really and then I woke up this morning really thirsty because I hadn't had a drink for fucking 10 hours so yeah weird anyway right um so i'm calling it for the night i'm gonna do today my boot on a quick and then possibly go to bed i'm sitting here looking at this headband now but i'm like almost finished my wildflower socks so i want to finish these and i can work on that headband thing tomorrow because i don't need to, you know i can do it anywhere in the house it doesn't need to be you know i can't promise it'll be neat but <laughs> you know if, if i at least can get an idea of how to do it I, I mean i'll probably use this as my temp you know as my template material um because i've got another one similar to this upstairs that i bought years and years and years ago it's got little sheepies on it but it's nice that it's stretchy that way so i'm thinking about like the size of a sock is you know when it when it's done in rib believe it or not that that fits around my ankle i don't believe it would you to look at it but it does, and it goes over my heel. That's why, you know, I'm sort of quite tempted to make one out of wool. And I could make, I could do a pair, you know, and I could do like all different coloured ones because I've got all the leftover from my socks. I make it and send, yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted. I'm going to have a go with that tomorrow because that I think that'll be relatively quick. I'm going to finish the socks tonight. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan, ladies and gents. That's the plan. My hands are really, really dry. That's something else I've had real problems with lately. It's really dry hands. It's really annoying me. And it's making hangnails. And it's really, really uncomfortable. But yay, nails. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, if you're on my Instagram, you'll have already seen them. But yeah, I'll just like, yeah, look how white the fucking those are. They're beautiful. absolutely stunning you see the light shining off of it it just you know it's just so beautiful really beautiful right have a fantastic day no matter what it is that you're doing and um i don't know whether there'll be a vlog or much of a vlog tomorrow but you know hey i've got projects to show you so there might be there might be um if i get socks finished tonight i might, I might cast on Okay, it's fucking Pikachu done. It shouldn't. T it should only take me a day or so to make a pair of knitted cuffs, really. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Right. Sleep well. I'll see you later. Bye bye.